Hi hi! And now, as I promised, I will show the hanger when it's on the boat. The new hood is also on. So uh, let's just take a little look at it. And let's try to zoom in. If you can see it up there, there it is. I have made a hole in the hanger also in the other side. That, that's because I have a little trawler lamp. Let's go down here and zoom out. That one there, a little oil trawler lamp. I have it to hang here over the, the table or a, a hood table of the engine and it, it is hanging in these pieces of rope one in in, in, in every in, one in this side and one in this side and then then one one up here in the back so it had three points that it hanging in so uh, I, that that I, I have to make a, a, a I think it also will be mahogany attachment up there in the hanger in both sides. That's what the holes are for. But um, I, I, need, I need to make this the last thing in there, the attachment. So that's what I will start on now and make a little series of. And now for the last piece of the hanger. That, that's the, not so good, but I, I talked about that, I, I thought a little about it. I, I have a stainless steel bolt here. I, 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 I'll cut the head off and then mill it flat so it fits up here in the hanger. And then in, in some way maybe make, make them threads a little longer and make a some kind of aluminium thing that it can go down to so so I can adjust it because when uh, they are the new hanger it, it had not, not even gotten water yet but it can be a little bigger or a little smaller when it get, getting older, it, it, it be a little loose. Then I, I want to could tighten it a little here. So uh, let's see if I can make that a, a aluminium block here and put in. I talked about it should be teak, but I, I think I'll make it in mahogany when the other is mahogany. So there must be something like here and go down here and here and that one of course is coming off so it'd be a nice little thing here in it, it almost looked like it's in uh, mahogany but with the aluminium inside to to put this one up and down in now we are back in the shop the first thing i want to do is to make two evenly square pieces of this aluminium here. Last time I, I cut a piece of aluminium, I used a, a 4-6 mm I think end mill to cut it off and uh, that's worked pretty fine when it's not a big piece. So uh, that I think I will do again. Now I have put the aluminium in the mill I know that's not the best way to cut off some pieces, but that's <laughs> what I got for the moment. I would like to have some kind of band saw or something that could cut this, but um, I'll get that eventually. But uh, oops. that's how I do it now. 
I can't take it all at once. So I only take two and a half millimeter at a time. It takes a little time, but uh, I have the time, so uh, that that's where, what I do. Uh, let's try it. Yes, now they are cut off. It took a little time, but I enjoy sitting here and watching the mill working. Now I have the two pieces of aluminum. Square, nice and square. So I have to drill a hole in it, a little deep hole, because I want it to have some travel here. That. So almost, it, it would, I could go right through it. I think I'll go right through it. But I have thought a little about it. And I think I will use, put the four-door jock, jaw chuck on the lathe and indicate it. And then drill the hole in the middle of it. And then I also have it clamped up so I can make the threads afterwards. So uh, that's my plan. Now I have put the four jaw jock in the lathe and I have indicated it. You see there, zero there. And zero there. I have found out something your old machinist will pro pro probably know it, but you got to be careful. <laughs> I almost made an error because now it is the little dial in here is standing on five. And when I lift it up and turn it around and put it down again, then it shall also be at five. Oh, six, six in there. Because when when you lift it up here and you go around here and down again, then it can be zero. But it can be zero in six or it can be zero in seven. So <laughs> that that you got to be uh, careful of. And then we, we go in on the other place here, you can see, there we have, we can just put it on here, like that. That is zero there, and one on the little dial. And then I lift it up, and turn it around, and then I go to zero again, and one there. If it were two, then it will be one tenth of a millimeter wrong. I couldn't understand why I didn't hit the center, but that, that was why. So you learn every time. And now I will drill a hole in the piece.
Yes. And the last drill I made here was a 10.2 millimeter, so I could make the M12 millimeter threads. I have just finished making the threads. I have filmed it all, but <laughs> somehow it. I don't know what happened, but it, it was on the ca wasn't on the camera. I'm sorry for that, but uh, there I will show you Fritz making later. But there are also other videos you can see there. But I, I use these three steps caps here. They, it takes a little longer time, but I, I like using them because. Uh, I think it's a little easier to put them in. So, um, and I, I, I'm pleased with the threads they are making. So, um, I use these, especially when it's a little bigger thread. So, uh, now the, these parts are ready for now. I have made this little template here down on the boat. So, that, that's the anchor that still fits in the boat. And here, the aluminium piece is going to sit and then the mahogany piece on this side and this side. But um, I have these pieces left over from, um, from when I make the hanger. And they, they fit, that is perfect to here. So uh, I just want them to be a little, little thinner, uh, actually as thin as I can get it on my planer. You can see I have made a little test here with these two. That is as thin as I can get it. So like that. That thickness there is fitting down on the boat. So uh, so it look nice. Cut off the end, so I have something to uh, refer to up there. So ne the, the, ne the next thing I have to do is put that cut in there in the mahogany in 45 degrees. So that I will do in all four of them. That was the first cut.